Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. In this video, I'll provide a quick introduction to part two. And so this is part 2A, which is just an introduction to transform a test in zero sequence impedance, grounded Y, grounded Y without a delta. Part one was about grounded Y, grounded Y with a delta. So transformer zero sequence impedance, you know, is, is an important concept, especially in uh, system protection. So the positive and negative sequence flux path is the same for, so for transformers. So basically the positive and negative is the same. The magnetic path for zero sequence flux is typically different from, from the positive and negative sequence flux path. So this is an important point. The negative and positive sequence flux cancel each other due to the 120 degree separation of each of the three phase flux. Zero sequence impedance for three phase, three lay core is about 85 to 90% of the positive sequence impedance. The zero sequence impedance of five layer core is about 90 to 100% of the positive sequence. Shell form typically it's very close to the positive sequence impedance. So when you have a grounded Y, a grounded Y transformer, you know, for example, you know, you have that's one phase, there's another phase. So like I have like H1 bushing, H2 bushing, H3 bushing, and you have the neutral. So you have the HO bushing, which is connected to the neutral, but then it's grounded. Then you have the low side is also uh, a grounded winder. So X1, X2, X3, then you have X, X0 or XO bushing. It's grounded. And sometimes it depends on the design and the specification. These two bushings could be connected, you know, basically one neutral. So, and remember, this is a terminology that industry uses the high side is H, the low side is X, at least in North America. So that's what I'm saying here. So grounded Y, grounded Y. So this might be 138 kV. This could be a 12 kV or 13 kV or some, something like that. So the equivalent, when you have a grounded Y, grounded Y transformer, the equivalent T model of a three phase, three leg core is required to model the zero sequence for short circuit purposes. And what is the T model? So if you remember for, from part one, which I recommend watching. So basically, you know, there are four tests that will be performed. So part one, I kind of talked about those tests and I give an example of how to calculate the required zero sequence impedances from the <clears throat> from from those tests. And I'll do the same thing here in, in the next videos. So basically, so this is the high side, here's the low side. Then you have the tertiary or stabilize and wind in. So in my in my example, I'm just going with H, X, Y. Some some industry you know members might do T for tertiary, meaning tertiary. For the high low side, they might do L. So I'm just going to stick with H, X, and Y. They mean the same thing. So during the zero sequence test, four tests will be performed. And again, 
these four tests, it's only if you have a grounded Y, grounded Y. If, let's assume, if for instance, this neutral is here is not grounded, you cannot apply four tests, only one test. So you have to have access to the neutral. The other thing is if the neutral is grounded, is grounded, but it's, it's internal. For small transformers, you know, if you assume this is a tank and you have the kind of core and coil assembly here. So you have the core and you have the windings kind of, they're cylindrical for core form. So since we have three phases, so what they will do, they will bring the neutral and sometimes they might ground it to the tank because the tank itself is grounded. In this case, you cannot, because you have to disconnect the neutral. So you have to have access to the neutral basically. So basically, if this is the case, especially small transformers, they, they might ground the, the neutral internally then what they would have to do is disconnect it for testing purposes and bring it out. And if you have a delta, but since since uh, there is no delta in this case, so we'll just cross this out for now. So then single phase voltage will be applied without exceeding the rating of, of any winding. Because sometimes when you, the zero sequence test is uh, performed, if you exceed the rating of any of the windings, you are going to overheat the tank and cause problems. And you will see in some examples that I'm going to provide uh, with test information, the current really goes up very quick. So that's another one thing, you know, manufacturers do. They make sure that they do not exceed the ratings of any of the windings. Then single voltage is only applied to windings with a grounded Y. So only if you have a grounded Y. If you have a delta, so these are this introduction is more like general. So if you have a delta, you cannot apply this single phase voltage to it. If it's ungrounded Y, you can't. You have to have a neutral that's grounded and you have to have access to it. So the next video will be part 2B and I will introduce you to test 1. So stay tuned. So for more videos, I would recommend go to Engineering Simple. Thank you and have a great day.